this is Jackie O, and I know so many of you guys are always asking me, Jackie O, I really want to move abroad, but I'm not sure financially how I can do it. So this whole episode is devoted to how you can support yourself while traveling the world full time or just moving abroad. So if you just want to go to one country and you want to say, hey, Jackie, I want to stay put. I want to live there for the rest of my days or until I feel like moving again, you can do that too, because I'm going to give you 15, yes, 15 different options of how you can bring in them coins. What's up, y'all? How's it going, O Squad? This is Jackie O, the OG, original, black digital nomad and globe trotting mama. If this is your first time to my channel, hey girl, hey. I currently slow travel full time with my toddler daughter, Ruth, and I have been crisscrossing the globe, y'all, for the last 25 plus years. Yes, y'all. That's why I call myself an original, because I've been in and out of the United States, living all over the world, over seven countries, traveled extensively to over 70, and I am here to help other Black women like yourself who are interested in either moving abroad and or traveling full time. And my whole channel and website, blog, blog, all of it is devoted to helping other Black women who are interested in either moving abroad and or traveling full time. Now today, I'm going to answer the question I get asked the most. Jackie O, how the heck am I going to make money abroad? And I am going to lay out for you 15, yes, 15 different ways that you too can make money abroad so that you can embrace this lifestyle, live it, enjoy it, get out of the United States, Canada, wherever you are, and just make the most of the life you got. Let's get into it. <music> So as you guys know, I have a daily gratitude practice where I thank the universe, um, the source energy for the life that I get to lead. And so I make gratitude a habit and I hope that you guys to just be thankful, think about the things in your life that you're thankful for. And every morning just say, thank you. Because whether you believe in a higher power, whether you believe in whatever you believe in, there's something greater than us that um, is allowing us to live and exist. And that something wants us to thrive. For the first option in terms of how you can make money when you are living abroad is an oldie but a goodie. And it is teaching teaching either English or another subject that you're really, really good at. And you can do this both in person or online. And there are a million resources in terms of how to teach English, where to go to teach English, where to go to teach at a university level, elementary school level, high school level. There are just a gazillion jobs. One thing you will learn from travel is that there are a lot of people who either want to learn English and or want to be connected with people from, let's say, America or Canada. They want that accent. They want how we talk, guys. And so there are no shortage of, of, of jobs in both Asia and Africa um, and all over the globe for people who want to be teachers. And this is from pre-K all the way up to adults and senior citizens. It's just a matter of what you are comfortable with. And yes, for some of them, you do have to have a certificate uh, teaching English as a foreign language, but they, you can also do that online and get the coursework done so that you're better prepared and you can also negotiate a better salary for yourself. So do not sleep on teaching English because sometimes you only have to do it for 15, 10 hours a week. And sometimes you will even get housing if you are doing it low locally, if you are doing it online, then you do it. And then the rest of your day, you're on the beach or you're snowboarding or skiing or however you want to live your best life, but you're making it happen for you. 
Now guys, another option is to become an au pair. What is an au pair? I actually have a whole vlog where I interviewed Hoosier on the Run, who is a au pair in Luxembourg, but it's also an option for you. So if you want to be a childcare provider and live in the home with a family and work a certain amount of hours a week um, and have your housing and your food provided for, and a modest stipend, like you're not going to get rich being an au pair, but you will get some pocket and spending money and your largest expenses, which are housing and food, are taken care of by the family. And in some countries, like Luxembourg, they also provide you with language trainings each week. In addition to that, you're living with a family. Most of the time they want their children to learn English, um, but you also get an opportunity to learn the language of the host country. So if you don't have much money, if you are looking to actually get a very up close and personal relationship with a family overseas, then becoming an au pair, and also if you like children, you gotta like children to watch them, um, is a perfect opportunity for you to get on a plane, get abroad, have a ready built, I won't necessarily say support system, but at least you have a family you can go to if you have issues. And hopefully also your agency who is setting up, um, who's pairing you with a family abroad will also be able to support you. And then of course, Facebook, Instagram, all that have a million and one groups for au pairs in various cities and globally. So check it out if you decide to do it, please come back here and post in the comments and like let me know on my Instagram feed at the Jackie O Life. I would love, love, love to hear from you and hear how you are thriving or not <laughs> in another country abroad. So guys, another pretty amazing way to make money online and it's one of the ways that I make money online. Online, You can check out the link below to my Etsy store. It's an Etsy store for woke folks. I sell things that woke folks, people who are socially conscious, um, t-shirts, etc., for people who are socially conscious and just really interested in changing this planet and want kind of t-shirts and bags that kind of push that, that narrative in terms of Black Lives Matter, in terms of saving and protecting our environment all that good stuff. So check it out. And an Etsy store can be whatever you want. You can create t-shirts. Um, you can, if you want me to do a, sh uh, um, a blog on how I created my t-shirt business, I am happy to do so. Just post in the comment box and I will do that below. But if, say you are traveling to Thailand and you become passionate about some sort of Thai artwork or necklaces or beads or etc. Create an Etsy shop start selling them, generate money. It may be just waste beads. It may be, you may be somewhere in Africa and you wanna sell waste beads. Um, just research it, like figure out what you're good at. It may be something that you make yourself. It may be a digital product. One of the things that I'm starting to venture into at the latter part of 2020 is on my Etsy store, selling some products and books, et cetera, that I have written myself that help people who want to move abroad. And that's just a digital product, a PDF that people can pay a certain amount of money download it. I don't have to ship them anything and it's there. Voila. It's a quick way to generate money. And if you work with me on either a one-on-one -on -one client or my course, I tell everyone who's about to move abroad, before you leave, you should at least have three sources uh, that generate income for you. At least three guys. And I like people within the first year of living abroad to have at least seven. Yes, seven. Seven's a magical number. And why do I say that? Because you should never, ever put your eggs, all your eggs in one basket. That is an, an old fr phrase and saying, but it is most definitely true, especially when you're abroad. You want to make sure that you can get money from a variety of different sources. Next up we have guys, and this is probably a no brainer, but some people don't even actually realize or appreciate it, especially now during COVID-19. Like if you're working from home right now, you've already proved to your employer that it can be done and maybe it should be done. Like, especially if your productivity has gone up and through the roof, then right now is a time that you should be having a conversation with your employer about making your job permanently remote. Now, maybe you have to negotiate that a little bit. Maybe it's four times a year, you have to come for some sort of end service for a week or two, but so what? The rest of the time you are crisscrossing the globe, living wherever you want to live, 
cutting your cost of living, hopefully, which is pretty amazing. And one of the things that I do and one of the things why full-time travel is so attractive to me, because guys, listen, I, the last place in the U.S. I lived was the Bay Area. Bay Area ain't cheap at all, right? I was spending like $3,500 a month and that was just on housing. So um, if you are in a position right now where you have a job, where you are working from home, doing Corbett 19, start having those conversations. And if you guys want me to do a special video on how to have a conversation with your boss about making your job full-time work from anywhere, then we can do that. And that, that's the WFA lifestyle, the work from anywhere. So guys, if you do it, if you have a conversation with your boss and you get to work from anywhere, let me know again, comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, guys, this is another one that I think is pretty simple, but some people don't even think of it. There are a lot of remote positions, like a lot of them, as long as you're someplace that has a good Wi-Fi, you are golden. You just got to get on Indeed. You got to get on LinkedIn. You got to get on Glassdoor and you got to do the research. And then what you have to do is you have to make sure you cater your resume to whatever the skills and requirements that are listed for that job. You hear me? So don't just do one blanket willy nilly resume for every single job. If you really want that job, then you tailor your resume. You actually use some of the same keywords that they are using in that job description when you send in your resume. And if you guys want me to do a video on how to get a job abroad, how to get a remote position, I'm your girl. I hope you up. Just let me know. Comment again below. But right, right now is the time. Like apply for a remote position. What do you have to lose? Like absolutely nothing, just apply. And if you are being paid in USD and US dollars, you are golden, even though the US passport definitely at this point has lost some of its power and prestige because of COVID-19, our handling of it, and also the current administration, you still, the US dollar is still fairly strong and it will get you far in most places in the world. So if you want me to do a video on how to apply for a remote position, I'm happy to do so. Again, just post in the comment box and I will get it done. Next up guys, and this one also is kind of one of those like old school digital nomad, people have been doing it a while, everyone does it and that is affiliate marketing. So what be it if you have a product that you are passionate about, or maybe not even so passionate about, you just know it sells well, why not get paid to do it? Like why not create a website where you are selling it, or if you are a blogger, or if you know other ways to sell it, just get it done. Um, for instance, me, I, I have, couple affiliate sites. I have books that I recommend for people who are interested in traveling abroad. And so I have a whole Amazon site where I just, it's just books. Like I love to read. I'm passionate about reading. I think you should read too. <laughs> uh, and when I don't read, I listen to Audible. So I listen to audiobooks. And so I have a whole collection of books that like, if you are interested in moving abroad, you should check out. And that's also linked below. I also, for most of the products that I use when I'm traveling that I can personally vouch for because they've gotten me through all of Central America, Asia, and Africa, and a lot of them have got me through with a toddler that I can personally vouch for, I also, on my website, I also have affiliate links to those. And I'm very crystal clear that it is affiliate links, so you do get paid, but I do not let that affiliate, the fact that I get money for it, I don't let that cloud my judgment. There are actually products that I use and I believe it like my backpack my Osprey the Osprey has gotten Ruth and I through all of Central America okay all through all of Central America and it has not failed us once so think about it think about what products you believe in and even if you don't know how to begin with affiliate marketing if you go to their site the website and you see that they don't necessarily have a link that you can click on and how to be an affiliate marketer just write them Use the contact us page and say, hey, my name is X, Y, and Z, whatever your name is, Keisha, John, whatever. Um, and let them know that you are passionate about their product and you would like an opportunity to be able to sell it wherever. And I mean, you can even sell through like Zoom calls. Like if you want to have straight from the Tupperware playbook and you know why the Tupperware playbook works? Because it works. 
okay? The Tupperware parties where women used to get together, you can do that same thing via Zoom. You can every month bring together 10 of your friends and then ask them to recommend 10 more of their friends and the list can go on and on and on and on. And you have a party to everybody bring a glass of wine and you talk about why you love what you love and then send everybody out the link if they want to purchase it afterwards or during your little trunk show. Okay, so that's another one you can do. It's not hard. You can generate some coins. And again, you want three, at least three streams of income before you take off abroad. And when I say streams of income, guys, don't think that your streams of income have to be $4,000 each. They don't. If you have street, three streams of income that each bring in $500 a month, that's $1,500 a month. Now, if you guys saw me in Travel Noir, you know that I live in Guatemala on $1,000 a month. So already right there, right? All I got to have is two income streams of 500 and 500. And that's already all my living costs. So anything else? I'm just saving coins, putting them in the bank. Okay. So think about that. Like when you think about how much money you need to bring in, I would say, if you're going to move abroad, think that you, depending on where you move, because some countries ain't as cheap as you think they would be, and some continents are. So for those of you all who are thinking about the continent of Africa, it ain't as cheap as you think it is, particularly if you want your U.S. lifestyle or above, okay? So, but you should at least be able to bring in $2,000 a month through a variety of sources. And the good thing about being a Black woman is that we, when we put our minds to it, we can hustle, we can bring in some coins. I know I can and so can you one right here is a digital nomad staple virtual assistant are you good at helping people get organized making their flight reservations helping them with scheduling all of that stuff does that come naturally to you if it does and then being a virtual assistant just might be the right profession for you to help fund your life around the world Good with a camera? Do you take pictures? Well, build up your portfolio and become a traveling photographer. There are photographers who just travel the world taking pictures of people's fabulous destination weddings. You can be one of them. There is an absolutely and utterly nothing stopping you from doing it. You can take pictures of children all over the world. You can work for National Geographic. There are so many options for a traveling photographer. Just go out and do it. Why not be a writer? You can travel full time and write about things that interest you and people will pay you. Be it you are an author, be it you are a writer who writes for publications like newspapers and magazines like Vogue and Essence and whatever. You can write about food. You can write about travel. You can write about travel with children. You can write about food while traveling with children. The options are endless. It's up to you. Create a niche for yourself, start writing, and get paid to do it. Hi guys, another option for you. Another option for you that is so exciting and so cool and one that I do is an online business. It can be whatever. What are you interested in? For instance, my online business is I teach black women how to travel full time and or move abroad. What's your online business? What are you interested in? It can be selling something on Etsy. There are so many options for you to do. It can be teaching people how to travel with babies. There are so many options. If you just think about it, make it a business and sell it online. Sharing economy. Guys, you know Airbnb, you know Uber, but there are tons of ways to make money online, renting, sharing things that you own. Be it your car, be it your house, be it your apartment or your condo, just look into it. You can actually make money while you're abroad using your assets at home, your tools. There are actually websites where you can rent out your tools. So why don't you go at it? Make some moolah while your stuff is at home and you are traveling the world. Can you write? I ask, can you write? Because there is always a need for a good copy editor. Anyone who is ever trying to sell anything needs someone to be able to write it and explain why it should be bought. And if you're that person, go for it. Be a copywriter editor. Copy editors make moolah. Another 
option for you is makeup artists. Do you see people at Cannes going all around the world doing music videos and think, I could do that. Well, I'm sure you could, so make a career out of it. Be a traveling, globe-trotting makeup artist. Right, Ruthie? Tell them. Say, you got this. <laughs> Translation, did your parents give you the gift of another language or did you just pick it up along the way? Whether it be Haitian, whether it be Spanish, French, if you speak it, you can translate it and you can make money. Go for it. My final idea for you guys is a social media strategist. Now this is for someone who loves Facebook, who loves Instagram, who always does cool and catchy phrases and cool and catchy posts because there are lots of businesses and actually brand accounts, so individuals, people like myself who have 10K, 5K plus followers, a million followers who don't necessarily have the time to do all the posts themselves but want to stay engaged with their audience and they need people to both create their posts and set their post or um, when I say set their post I mean actually post them so you can go into an account like Hootsuite or another social media uh, posting account manage that for them create the post and just create something awesome and it also could be um, a community manager so I'm giving you two for one guys a community manager so say someone has a massive Facebook group with a thousand two thousand plus individuals some of these groups are as big as 14,000 sometimes they need a paid individual to actually manage that to like accept people into the group to monitor posts to mediate disputes in the group because yeah when you put 5,000 2,000 people in a group together online there's gonna be some issues uh, so those are two ideas for you. Now again, guys, all these ideas, these 15 different ideas that I presented for you, all of them may not work for you, but the key when you wanna move abroad is to stay open-minded. One of the big issues that most of my clients have is changing their mindset. Because once you change your mindset and you say, hell yeah, I can do that. Hell yeah, I can be a photographer. I'm decent, I'm gonna perfect my craft. Now, will you be winning awards for your photography? Maybe, maybe not, depending on how um, passionate you pursue your craft. But can you make a living off of it? Can you support yourself full time um, doing it or part time doing it and be one of those three income streams that I mentioned? If you can make $500 a month on your photography, um, either going places and being a travel photographer, focusing on whatever genre, or just selling your prints online, which is another option, and then you're in good shape. So guys, just be creative, hustle. You can do this. If you just change your money mindset and believe that you can make money abroad, you will make money abroad. If you like this video, do not forget to like and subscribe. And remember, I typically post videos every Sunday night, Monday morning. And if there's a video that you'd like to see me post, then just let me know in the comments. Love you guys and take care, Oat Squad. Hey, black girl. Hey, you good? Because I'm fabulous. I'm a digital nomad and my lifestyle allows my daughter and I to experience new places, culture, foods, and people. Living abroad and or traveling full time is amazing. It is freedom. I can work from anywhere. I want more black women to experience the same sort of freedom. I help black women manifest their dreams of a life abroad or a full time travel. Are you ready for a life beyond your wildest dreams?